I'm Rich Harvey, buyer's agent and CEO of Property Buyer. As we come out of the COVID lockdown, how will the property market respond? Will we see the negative media forecast of prices plummeting coming to fruition or will the market show resilience? I was interviewed on Channel 7 News last week about CBA's forecast that property prices could drop a massive 32%. You know, the media tend to exaggerate the worst case scenario, but what they failed to explain was that a fall of this size can only happen if we get two years of recession, that is eight quarters of negative growth. The far more likely scenario is that prices might fall 10% as we move to recovery phase after two quarters of recession. The actual results are that property prices have dipped just 0.4% in the last month of May, according to CoreLogic. Sydney went down 0.4%, Melbourne 0.9% and Brisbane just 0.1%. But what did rapidly decline in April and May was the volume of listings and sales. April volumes were down 30 to 50% in some areas but sales activity and turnover bounced back 18.5% in May. So what does all this mean? Well, the severe shortage of listings has also helped to underpin property prices. I was due to inspect several properties last Saturday but found that two had sold on the night before auction. Auction clearance rates have actually started to recover and Sydney saw a clearance rate of 62% from 367 auctions last weekend. I've noticed quite a positive change in market sentiment as we come out of this lockdown. And despite the very difficult economic conditions we're currently experiencing, we're likely to see quite a resilient property market. You know, a fall of just 0.4% is a far cry from the drop of 32%. We've had a record number of visitors to our website as we see people are interested to find out what's actually happening in the market. And consumer sentiment has bounced 42% higher than when it bottomed out in late March. You know, a recent survey completed by Pippa discovered that 72% of investors now believe is a great time to buy a residential investment property. The other key findings of the survey was that 80% of investors have not changed their investment intentions over the next six to 12 months, despite the COVID impact. And around 30% of investors are more likely to buy a property in the next six to 12 months because of the pandemic. So the key message here is don't let the COVID crisis derail your long-term investment or home buying plans. You can use this time as an opportunity to get into a softer market because it's likely that once sentiment resumes to its prior levels, we're going to see quite a rapid pickup in property market turnover. One of the frequent complaints we're currently getting from buyers is there's just no stock. Well, as buyers agents, we can uncover a lot of off-market opportunities where we really shine and help you get ahead of the curve. I'm Rich Harvey from Property Buyer. Thanks for watching.